Hi, I'm James Parkin. I'm the Managing Director at Wielden Brothers. The JCB Piling Master has enabled great flexibility across our sites, meaning that we can transit from site to site on the road and then very swiftly put in a proper engineered piled solution. And it is significantly cheaper than uh, a traditional piling solution, which we wouldn't be able to do anyway in this location because of the nature of the uh, ground and difficulty of accessing the slots. Rather than utilising uh, an external piling specialist, the JCB Palmaster has allowed us to take control over the programming and execution of our engineered piled solutions. Having been utilising the JCB Piling Master now for some time, we've seen tremendous cost savings. Hi, my name is Laura Holland. I'm a stru senior structural engineer at Ecotech Consulting Engineers. We've found using the JCB Piling Master hugely beneficial due to its ability to be able to work at different piling levels. It doesn't need a piling mat and its extreme manoeuvrability allows it to be flexible use on site. I believe that by using the JCB Piling Master you allow your developers and your ground workers to actually take that ownership of the piling. Normally with conventional piling it goes out to a contractor, they do the work and they come in. Whereas by giving that ownership to the developers and the ground workers would actually allow them to scheme their piling so they're doing one pile at a time rather than doing 100 piles at once and there's a huge upfront cost that they've got to go through for that. In use of using the JCB Piling Master we have actually started to suggest it to other developers because we believe it's a really good way of utilising piling for those one or two plots that you have on a site that may be affected by existing trees or bad soil conditions. In addition to this, due to the manoeuvrability of the piling master, you're actually able to broaden this to many different disciplines. So you could start using this in railways, civil engineering, infrastructure, where you've got issues with restrictions on site and access. This is where this comes into its own really. So we think it's very beneficial to the construction industry.